Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about my experience of getting sick with COVID-19. This happened quite some time ago, back in March. And before I talk about my personal experience, I want to heavily emphasize that COVID is a very weird illness, and it seems to hit a lot of people very differently from each other. I've talked to a lot of people who've had it, including people I know personally and people I've met through online support groups, and people are all over the map in terms of what symptoms they experience. So my experience is by no means typical, and in a sense there is really no typical COVID experience. Every person's experience is unique, both in terms of what symptoms they have and how severe they are. So what was it like for me? For me, the first day of any sort of symptoms, something was up, but it was almost imperceptible. I, I noticed one, one day that I felt a little off, and I noticed it mainly at night when I was sleeping. Something about my breathing felt a little bit heavier. I had no other symptoms other than it felt like it took a little bit more force than normal to breathe. And I noticed it because it was a sensation I had never felt before in my life. I have never had any experience with asthma or with anything really that hinders my breathing with the exception of having a cold where there's stuff blocking the breathing. But this was very different. There was nothing blocking it and it was a little harder to breathe. But I thought, you know, there's all this anxiety going around about this global pandemic and it was certainly affecting me, so I, I, I just sort of ignored it. I thought, okay, I'm probably, it's probably all in my head. And the next day, I felt this way a little bit throughout the day, but it wasn't particularly strong. And then at night, I, I w went to bed and I felt kind of the same way, and I wasn't really able to sleep. I think I maybe got a little bit of sleep, and then I was awakened by the same sensation, but intensified an unbelievable amount. I just struggled to breathe, and it was a horrible feeling. It's hard to describe, but like I was basically sort of panting and gasping for breath, and my breathing suddenly felt painful. And this, this feeling came on suddenly. Like I remember taking a breath, and it was sort of hard to breathe, and then the next breath felt like I was breathing in shards of glass or something. It felt very painful. And thankfully that pain, pain sensation subsided a little bit, but the next eight hours were probably the most difficult eight hours of my life. It was, uh, it's hard to talk about. It's very uncomfortable. Um, I felt like I was suffocating when I was lying in the bed, and I sort of rolled around a little bit, and I just, it was so uncomfortable. I stood up, and I found that when I, when I sat upright and stood up, and sort of held my torso more open, I was able to breathe a little bit more easily. Um, I ended up going into the bathroom and sitting on the toilet, and I kind of had this moment of, I don't know, like a realization that when I leaned forward as if sitting on the toilet, I, at the time I actually was doing that, uh, leaned forward with my elbows on my knees, it was easier to breathe in that position. And I spent a lot of the night in that position. Um, I was not able to sleep much at all. I want to emphasize, at the time, there were all these things going around in the CDC about what COVID symptoms were, and they were heavily driving in the idea of fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath. Now, I definitely had shortness of breath, but those other two symptoms, I didn't really have them. I took my temperature that night, and it was 99.4, and at one point it got up to 99.6, which is really not a fever, or barely a fever. I think it's probably below the threshold most medical guidelines set for fever, so I would be considered to not have a fever. And I had no cough. I was not coughing at all that night, just zero. Um, really, the symptoms were all focused in my breathing. Uh, I did notice a few other symptoms that were sort of weird. Um, my heart was racing, and it's really hard for me to know how much of that was the stress 
on my respiratory system and possibly my cardiovascular system too. It's hard to know how much of it was that physical stress and how much of it was anxiety. And there's no way to figure this out. But I know that my heart rate just wouldn't go down. It stayed above 100 beats per minute even when lying down and it got up to about 114. The, the other symptoms I noticed is I felt oddly hot and cold, sometimes at the same time. It was very different from having the flu. People keep describing COVID as a flu-like illness, and it was not flu-like at all for me. Um, I've had the flu, I think, four or five times over my life, and the flu, it just really knocks you out for maybe about two days. I get high fever, I get chills, and then later when my fever falls, I start feeling warm again. But this wasn't like this. This was like feeling hot and cold at the same time. I got a weird tingling in my extremities, my hands, forearms, and my feet would start tingling as if they were falling asleep. Uh, at one point, it was even hard to put my full weight on my one leg. Very strange. But at the same time, I was not exhausted the way I I am when I have a flu and when I have a high fever. I had energy in my body. Um, I would get short of breath trying to do anything, but I still had the energy to physically walk around. Another thing that I noticed, I had absolutely insane levels of thirst. I just could not get enough water. And I kept drinking water and I tried to eat some salty foods like pretzels and things, uh, even though I didn't have much appetite, just so I didn't get completely depleted of electrolytes, but I was drinking a lot of water and my mouth was dry like it had never been before, and that was also a sort of very noticeable symptom. Like when I've had the flu, I've gotten thirsty too, and when I have a cold, I get thirsty, but this was a whole new level of thirst I'd never experienced. And my condition ended up worsening, and I went into the ER, they looked at my vitals, and they said, you're not going to die, go home. So I spent my whole time with this illness, struggling with it at home. Um, my roommate was very, very helpful. Uh, my roommate also got it, but had a much milder case than me, which is another example of how it, it affects people very differently. Um, really nothing was worse than that first night. Just to give you an idea of how bad it was, I was lying there in this position, I actually, Owl helped me get through it because I really struggled to get physically comfortable and I found that when I put my legs like this, for some reason it made me feel better. I don't know why, but uh, I was sitting there struggling to, to get through every moment really and just breathing. That was all I could do is focus on the next moment. How am I getting this next breath? because it was very, very difficult. I was having to work really hard to open my chest to get each breath. It was very uncomfortable. And I just sat there just dreading it, and I'm thinking like, when is this gonna be over? Am I gonna get better or get worse enough that I can go into the hospital? I mean, what's gonna happen? Um, but I just sat there, and it seemed like two hours had gone by, and then I looked at the clock, and it had only been three minutes. And I'm just like, oh, like, and I spent about eight hours like that. It was, I, I'm very glad to be done <laughs> with that episode of my life. After that first night, it was never that bad. Uh, the second day I felt much better. My breathing got a little bit better. An interesting thing happened though. Sometime the second day, I had this just pain all over my torso and it, it felt like I had been used as a punching bag, like bruising feeling, just all over. And it was, again, really intense. It was the most intense muscle pain I've ever felt. Very, very different from having a flu. When I have the flu, my muscles ached, but it would be all throughout all of my muscles. So I'd feel aches in my arms and my legs and around my torso, neck, whatever. And this was really only concentrated around the torso. Um, it was very different. Thankfully, that, that punching bag sensation didn't last too long. I'd say it lasted less than a day, and it never came back as intensely. I've had on and off a lot of chest pain since then, but uh, 
really it was that second day that that aspect of the pain was worse. There's one other thing, though, that I want to talk about, about the acute phase of the illness, which is very different from a flu. Uh, it did not follow a linear recovery. Like, when I get the flu, it's like you feel awful, maybe about two days, and then you get a little bit better, and then a few more days, you're even more better, and you just sort of recover from there. COVID was really up and down. Like, that first night was rough, and then I had two days that were not too bad. I was feeling a lot better, my energy started coming back, my breathing was getting better. Um, the fourth day, I got worse again. It wasn't quite as bad as that first night, but it was bad and I had trouble sleeping again, uh, and then the next two nights I felt better in days, and then I got worse again. So it was, there were three really bad days in the acute phase of this illness. Uh, so uh, this video is already longer than I like to make my videos, but I want to end with one thing, which is that uh, the recovery turned out to be much rockier than I had anticipated. People said, oh, you're, you know, you either die or you recover in two weeks. That is not what happened to me. I am nine months out and I am, I'd say, 97% recovered, but not, I still have a few lingering symptom, uh, symptoms, and I suspect it may be due to lung damage, which is very slow to heal, unfortunately. But I am getting better, and I'm mostly back to my life. I've been mostly back to my life for a while now, but uh, you can stay tuned for more videos. I want to talk about the experience of being a long hauler because even after I got through that acute phase of the illness, it was tough. Recovery was slow and it, it has taken a long time. So that's been my experience. Again, I'm not speaking for everyone, but I hope this has been illuminating. I hope I can help people to understand more about this virus and the diseases it, cause the disease it causes. Yeah, thank you.